Hey everybody, today I'm going to take my Ender 3 that has old TH3D firmware and update it to the new version. My name is Jim and this is the Edge of Tech. Alright, so I've got a lot of people saying, hey, we've upgraded the firmware, we have it on our machine, but how easy is it to just update to the newest releases that TH3D is putting out? Well, I'm here to tell you it's really simple. So this Ender 3 has the old firmware and it also has a BL Touch. I'm not going to cover that today, but I have a video coming out very soon on how to install the BL Touch on the new TH3D firmware. It's super easy. It's super easy. So why would we do this? Well, Tim and the gang spend a lot of time updating and fixing bugs and finding new things for the firmware for all the printers that are listed on it. Recently, he just put out R11, which is the brand new firmware with all the bug fixes and he added a bunch of printers to it as well. In that release, uh, he also has BL Touch support, which we're also going to cover in another video coming up, like I mentioned. But I just wanted to show you how easy it is to take a Creality machine or any machine that they support their firmware on and just simply update to the brand new version. Let's go. So I just wanted to show you real quick that we are using TH3D U1.R2.7 currently and that's why we're upgrading to go to the uh, new firmware, the U1.R2.11 that allows the BL Touch to be programmed right in it. Alright, so what I did now is I went ahead and went to firmware.th3dstudio.com and it brought me to the TH3D Unified Firmware Package page. So what we want to do is go down to, to uh, download the latest firmware, which is u1.r2.11, and go ahead and click on that. It'll download. So once it's downloaded, what you want to do is go ahead and go look at it in the folder. In my case, it's still zipped here. So I'm going to go ahead and extract it. And I'm actually going to put it in a folder on the desktop that's actually called TH3D firmware and that's where I'm going to go ahead and extract it to. So it'll go through the extraction process. Uh, this can take a little while depending on your computer. So once you got it downloaded and you have the file extracted, you can go ahead and open it. And what we're going to do is go ahead and click open firmware windows.bat. If you're using Mac OS X, then you might need to use this folder. Um, we're using Windows, so we're going to go ahead and double click that. And we're going to show you how to do this for a stock Ender 3 in this example. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click on configuration.h. Go ahead and click Control F. Type in Ender 3 or your printer. It could be any of the printers that he supports. And we're going to go ahead and click twice. All right, so when we look at this, it says Creality Ender 3 Options, and it tells us it's the uh, Sanguino 1284P board, which is the stock Creality Ender 3 board. In this case, it's on line 284 of this firmware. That can change, so don't use the line numbers. Just look for Creality Ender 3 Options. And all we have to do to enable the Creality Ender 3 on this firmware is go ahead and remove those two wax just like that. Now you'll notice that this turned green and you are good to go. If you have a stock Ender 3 that is the only thing we have to do to make it work with the TH3D updated firmware. If you have a BL Touch or an Easy ABL there are a couple other steps you need to follow. For the Easy ABL install, go ahead and see that video. We'll put it in the bottom uh, in the description. And for the BL Touch, I'll go through that instructions on a separate video that's coming up soon. In this case, we're using a stock Ender 3 and just adding the TH3D unified firmware to it. Again, all we had to do is remove these two lines. It'll say, it'll turn green and you are good to go. All you have to do for a stock Ender 3 to update the TH3D Unified Firmware is come on up here and hit the Upload button. 
It's going to go ahead and compile the sketch. It's going to go through that for a minute. And then what it's going to do is upload the firmware to your board. This part only takes about a minute or so. All right, so after the sketch is compiled, it will start uploading. And you can see that here. So it went through. And now it's just writing to the board. And it's really pretty quick. After it gets to this part, it's only about a minute or so, just like that. And it tells us that uh, the bytes have been written and it is done. So thank you. And that's it. The update TH3D firmware is now installed on the printer and you are good to go. All right, well that's it. What we did was just updated the old TH3D unified firmware to the brand new one. All in all, if I was not filming, it only takes about five minutes to do this. The last thing we have to do is go ahead and flip your Ender 3 or whatever machine on and make sure you get to the home screen and it's good to go. I appreciate those who wrote in and asked me to do this video. Some people were wondering how hard it was and I gotta tell you, it was very simple. Again, you have to have the bootloader on and this video is just to show you how to go from an older version of the TH3D firmware to the new version of the TH3D firmware very easily. Now, if you have an easy ABL, like I said before, you want to go watch the easy ABL instruction video, uh, I'll put it in the description below. That'll tell you what you need to play with in the firmware. Also, if you have a BL Touch, that video is coming soon. It is super simple to add a BL Touch to one of these now that Tim has put the BL Touch settings in the firmware. Well, I hope you learned something today, and as always, keep printing. Hey, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, hit that little subscribe button below. And if you want to see more and get notifications every time a great video comes out, click the bell right over here. Don't forget the links to PayPal and the Patreon are below if you want to help out that way. You guys rock.